being scared to love knowledge is power you empower yourself so no more assholes is going to help you feel more empowered going to teach you how to calm your anxiety is going to teach you exactly what you need to look for I'm going to teach you how to hold out for what you want this isn't purity culture this is just being smart about your selection process so I'm going to teach you a selection process that you have been gaslighted about You've been gaslighted, my loves. You've been told nobody would wait for a kiss. You haven't even been told that, but you think that, you feel that, and it's totally wrong. That is that is gaslighting to the ninth degree. Oh, let's see who this is. Salut. Hello. 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 Do you speak French? I do, and English. Just in English. <laughs> Thank you. Is it normal for a man to want some space after an argument? Yes. How long? It all depends on the argument, depends on how angry they are, it depends how long they need to sort through their thoughts and feelings. If you get fixed that shit, you will learn to navigate conflict much better. Um, you'll be able to give that space, you'll be okay with it, you two will come back in a much more functional way, and you will avoid future conflicts. Get yeah, radar, yeah. Tis for boyfriend's mom who loved his ex and can't get over him dating you. Um, just limit your exposure. Limit your exposure. Pull some pines. Doesn't that mean drink beer? I love your content. Thank you. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Thank you so much. My partner walked out on our relationship, went to the Middle East. What's your opinion? I, I I can't... Hello from Singapore. I can't really... I mean, what is anybody supposed to think about that? Especially when you just get like a one-sided, like, like everything was fine and I woke up one morning and he walked out. Like, I just, I can't form an opinion on a sentence, my love. I'm sorry. If you wanted me to help you with a particular situation and help you understand it, we would need to do a coaching session just because I need a lot more detail in order to have uh, any kind of like an educated professional thought about something in particular. If he asks for space, I should agree and not freak out. Yeah, because I'm so worried. I want to talk and he doesn't. He needs to work through his thoughts and emotions. Um, you want him to work you through your thoughts and emotions. He wants professional thought. Um, so basically, you want to use him as an anxiety reduction technique, which is not fair. Um, and, and so you need to work through your thoughts and emotions. You want him to be a therapist in that moment or a solution provider in that moment and he's like no i need i need to go think i need to go sort things out i need to know what i want to say before i say it i don't want to just vomit things in the heat of the moment so this is a good example that he is setting it is it is better to go and think and come up with the solution that you are a part of instead of going to your partner and saying i'm anxious and upset be my solution so get fix that shit learn how to be your own solution learn how to manage conflict better learn how to manage your own emotions and not turn to your partner and say fix me but learn how to be your own fixer which book should i get for my 32 year old daughter she honestly doesn't even date too busy with work that's okay so yeah i'm all about efficiency um, I am all about efficiency. So I would say no more assholes, mama. Oh, thank you, my loves. You guys like that. <laughs> okay, say that first part again. I do repost my lives on my YouTube channel. So guys, do go to my YouTube channel. I have a live stream playlist. Go check it out. Uh, you're so welcome. I have an amazing boyfriend, but I overthink and I'm worried it'll ruin things. Is there anything I can do? You can't get fixed that shit. It does guide you through 
um, elevating your self-love, elevating your confidence, managing your behaviors, managing your emotions, seeing your partner for who they are, um, giving them that gratitude and recognition that actually strengthens, strengthens a relationship because seeing your partner for who they are, um, giving them that gratitude and recognition that actually strengthens, strengthens a relationship because our number one goal is to be understood. We seek to be understood. Show your boyfriend that you see him, you see the integrity, you see the character, you see the devotion, you see the loyalty, and you appreciate how he shows up and takes care of you. And um, you will see him bond much more with you because that feels awful good. Um, and then you're also going to learn how to like be in your relationship in a way that really enhances intimacy and closeness. Did you, did you finish the mail help book? Yeah. So, ooh la la. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. The perfect play. The perfect play is the man's version of um, no more assholes. Look at this heart. See this heart right here? It fits right in that spot right there. So we we have the heart that we want to give to good men. And men have the space that they want us to put our heart into. Um, but we just need to match up, y'all. So, yeah, the perfect play for the men's, the, the single men's who want to get into a relationship with a generous long-term thinker. It's the first button in the link tree in my bio. Are arguments okay in a relationship? I'm dehydrated from crying. I feel lost. So, ideally, you want to have a relationship that has zero conflict. My husband and I fought for 10 years. We haven't had a single fight in five years. Do you want to put a stop to the conflict? Then get fixed that shit, do what's in that book. Um, you want to get even more efficient with stopping the conflict? Get a coaching session. Study her. Yes, this woman is the best. Get her books and rewatch her live. Study her. I love you. Miss Farmer, thank you. Uh, if my wife comes to me with the problem, should I listen and support or try to come up with a solution? Ask her. Um, so when she's done talking, say, okay, baby, what would you like me to do for you? That's what you say. Like she comes to you with a problem and then you say, okay, baby, what would you like me to do for you? And this is this is good. This gets her thinking about what she, what she feels the solution should be. If she says, I just need you to comfort me, here's what you're going to do. You're going to put your arms around her and tell her everything is going to be okay. If she says, um, I want a solution, I want you to do so and so, if you can do that, then that's what you do. Uh, by the way, I am writing a fix that shit for men now. If he doesn't want to fix his issues and will rather break up, what does that mean? It means you need to let him go. No more wounded birds. No more wounded birds. Leave the wounded bird. Get with somebody who actually wants to address themselves. Hey, if my boyfriend's acting distant and doesn't initiate hanging out with me anymore, uh, doesn't say I love you anymore, do I break up with him? Say, I want to be in a relationship with somebody who wants to be with me and I don't feel that this is the right relationship for me. You're welcome. Also, what you should do is get no more assholes and take a look at the 12 character traits and grade his paper. Like for each one that he is, you know, the man, then give him a check mark. If he's a guy, it's an X. Count up the check marks. What does he get out of 12? And this is, you need to use this going forward. But if, if you go to him and you say, you know, I need to be in a relationship with somebody who wants to be with me and I don't feel this is the right relationship for me. And he's like, no, I'm just going through stuff, blah, blah, blah. Grade his paper. Do not be with somebody who's a selfish short-term thinker. Don't be with anybody who's less than a nine out of 12. Uh, I don't want to break up with him. I feel like I love him more than he loves me. So again, you, you th this is your choice, my love. Like, I'm not here to tell you what to do. If you want um, advice on something, I'm here to give it. But you do you. Um, just don't complain about the choices you make, right? Don't choose to say, stay with somebody who's indifferent to you and then complain that you're loving somebody more than they love you. It's, it's like you don't have a right, right? It's kind of like I went out into the rain and I didn't have an umbrella and I didn't wear boots and I got all wet. Well, honey bunny, why are you complaining? 
Um, you went out into the rain without an umbrella and boots. Why are you complaining? It doesn't make sense. Um, I, I didn't put a coat on and I went outside and took a walk in the winter and I was cold. My love, you can't complain about that. You didn't put a coat on, right? I didn't put gas in the car and I kept driving and it ran out of gas. Now I'm stuck by the side of the road. Lovely, you didn't stop and put gas in the car. Do you see what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense to complain about the choices you make. Absolutely love your advice and videos. You are unbiased and to the point. Yes, my love. Is there anything I can do to make him love me? No, no, you can't. No, 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 no. You need to get with somebody who does love and appreciate you. We don't get into relationships to change people. We get into a relationship with the right person. You need to get no more assholes. You need to use that no kissing for three months dating rule. You need to choose the partner, not because he's cute, not because you're in the heat of the moment, not because you're afraid if you don't kiss them, you're gonna lose an opportunity. You need to choose the person who stuck around for three months because you are it to them. Do you have any advice on how to allow myself to be more receptive to support from men? Yes. Um, so good men are generous and supportive and you know, they, they do, find the book for sure, yes, lovely. Um, so they do want to pay for you. Like they feel weird if you pay for them, right? Um, so listen, first of all, don't, don't accept things from people that you have no intention of getting into a relationship with. But when you are getting into a relationship with somebody, when you are really going somewhere with somebody um, and they want to do something for you, you have often something called cognitive uh Hold, whoa, whoa, did I just forget a word here? Dissonance, whoo, cognitive dissonance. I haven't said that one in a while. So cognitive dissonance is when opposing thoughts happen inside your head simultaneously. I want this, right? We wanna be taken care of. We wanna be in a relationship with somebody who cares for us and shows us that they care. But sometimes we have an upbringing that says, I don't deserve that. So that cognitive dissonance creates a glitch in the matrix. That cognitive dissonance creates a uncomfortable sensation because literally there's a battle going on inside your head, opposing thoughts happening simultaneously, fighting. And so that physical discomfort makes us think we don't want what they are wanting to do when that's not the case. So then there's all this confusion going on. I want him to take care of me. Why doesn't he do things? Well, motherfucker, you keep turning him down, right? You keep, you keep acting independent. No, I don't need that. No, it's okay. No, you don't have to do that. No, 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 no. I got this, right? And so you need to let men be men. And, and part of that is their caretaking instinct. So when the one you care for wants to do things for you, despite the feeling inside of you, you are going to say, yes, thank you. Why? Because when you pack up some boxes of food and you head over to the food bank to hand it over, you want them to say, yes, thank you. And it will feel good for them to accept that. So the reason why you say yes is to let them feel good. Um, don't be selfish. Don't say no because you feel bad about it. You feel uncomfortable about it. Say yes because they will get to feel good. So this is how you say yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're such a good man. Or thank you. I appreciate that. You're so good to me. Or you take such good care of me. My husband is still friends with his ex's family. He cuts my family off for one fight and nothing to do with them. If you want some help with that, my love, that's a particular, that's not a general question. Um, so if you do want help with that, then you would need to get a coaching session. Husband passed away 15 months ago. I started dating quickly and now I'm regretting, I'm regressing with grief. Um, so listen, my sister passed away when I was 17 and she was 21. Right before 40, I regressed with my grief. It will come in waves, regardless of the choices that you make, um, it will likely come in waves. So, you know, you, you could have waited to date and still had this come back and hit you like this. Thank you for the advice. Much appreciated. You're welcome. Um, if you're still dating, by the way, I know, aren't these awesome? 
Uh, if you're still dating it, I do suggest you grab no more assholes so that you understand how to choose a really good partner. You're welcome. Uh, how do we go about having a session with you? So go to my bio, click on the link tree. There's a coaching button. It's going to take you to a page. Follow the instructions on the page to book yourself in for a session. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things, Olivia, that, um, it's just another thing that I can relate to people about. It's another thing that happened in my life that helps me be more understanding and empathetic with things that happen in other people's lives. Grief will always be there. Oh yeah, it will. It's okay, you guys. It happens. Yeah, it's it's I mean it's an interesting thing because I I know what it's like to have a sibling. I know what it's like to be an only child. Does anybody want me to do a book walkthrough, by the way? I got my babies right here. I got all my babies with me. I have a coaching session at 7 30. So just so you know you guys, we got about 20 minutes left. Uh I came to the party late. But it's so unfortunate to hear about your loved ones. Yes. I made a video of him. Yeah, it's okay to post him on social media. Of course. You're allowed to miss the people that you loved. Um, it, if you want to do that, then you do it. It's up to you, lovely. We have a yes. We have one yes. Do you believe swingers is a good thing? I, there, it's not good or bad. There's nothing good or bad in sexuality unless it's non-consensual. That is the only bad, right? So polyamory, swingers, whatever consenting adults choose to do and are happy with is fine by me. Talk about the books. You guys want a book walkthrough? Ooh. How's the video, you guys? Are we good on video? Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Yes, book walkthrough. Okay, my loves. Let's do a quick book walkthrough. Uh, so starting with the breakup, leaving your last relationship behind, healing your heart. So Come Back Queen is a book that's going to help you get over a breakup. Don't let don't let selfish short-term thinkers own real estate in your brain and heart, you guys. Uh-uh. It needs to end. Stop looking over your shoulder. Time to look forward. So once you have some measure of healing and you're feeling better, you're welcome, lovely. Uh, get No More Assholes. This is the book that is going to help you make sure your next partner is the right one. No selfish short-term thinkers, only generous long-term thinkers who want a relationship with you. After that, you start with After the First Kiss. This helps you transition from the courtship phase to the reality phase so you don't freak out and go into an insecurity state. Um, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I don't trust you. Um, so Fix That Shit is the book that is going to help you have a fight-free relationship. This is, um, this is how I got from 10 years of fighting to 5 years and not a single fight with my husband. Uh, custom made is going to help you if you are making your partner your purpose, if you, if, if they're your source of like, ha, huh, you know, in life, no, my love, it needs to be your talent. It needs to be what you give the world and, and you're so good at, you would give it away. Um, so this is going to help you uncover what your purpose and talent is. It's going to also help you understand how to monetize it. So you can literally stop, uh, start getting paid doing what you love. Dating 101 is a textbook, understanding the drives, behaviors, and emotions behind love. Great for the teenagers, no swear words in there. Perfect play, book for men on dating, how to find themselves a woman who is a generous long-term thinker. No more users, no more takers. Uh, fake love need not apply, how to avoid posers, losers, scammers, and predators. This is a free ebook if you hit the free book button in the link tree in my bio. And then say yes to goodness is uh, how to be happy in your life. So. Uh, 10 steps to a complete and happy you. So literally 10 areas of your life that have an effect on you and how you should navigate them so that you are happy.
how do you know if your wife is cheating with you? You got to get the proof. You can't, you can't accuse people of anything unless you have proof. Thank you, lovelies. You're welcome. Thank you. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Charlie's got his head under my chair again. Who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Okay, my love. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to click my picture up here. Once or twice, you're going to get a pop-up. In the pop-up is a bell right about here. Click on the bell. When you do that, say, I just did. Still helping people. Yes, I am. Hello. Hello, Miss Frizzle. Hello. So uh, Sue Sedizzle actually helped me set up my Discord channel. So if you want a wife like me, this is how you get it. This is how you get it. If you, if you want to know how to be as lucky as my man, this is the book you need to read. Uh, so it's called The Perfect Play, by the way. This is the first button in the link to my bio. You can get it on Amazon. Noise. How long should you wait to move in together? So a year after you start dating. Full year. Let a full year go by so that you understand how to navigate ups and downs and resolve conflict together before you move in together. Um, not saying you can't sleep over at each other's place 365 days, but two people, two places. And wait a full year before it's two people, one place. Because if you move in too quickly and the relationship doesn't work, it falls apart, then where are you going to go? How complicated is it going to be for you to leave? You don't want to end up in a toxic, abusive environment and have to struggle to find somewhere to go to. So two people, two places until a full year. Uh, how do I bring up moving in with my boyfriend? We haven't really talked about it. Um, so what you're going to do is uh, you're going to say, hey, I've been doing some thinking. And, uh, you know, like I really feel like after a year is a good time for us to start talking about moving in together. What do you think about that? Any tips on using dating apps? Uh, don't reply to people that don't make it clear that they read your bio if you're looking for something more than just a hookup. 12 hours, yes. Hello, honey. Um, you know, something for people to fall asleep to. The 12 hour meditation videos sound great to sleep to. Yes, exactly. That's why I asked him to make them. Because I, I, know, I know that there are some people who want something to just like play all night long. Recently had a conversation with my partner and he asked me if I felt too comfortable. Why are you farting? Uh, tell him, babe, don't you know, farts are funny. Cause they are. Who agrees? Farts are funny. <laughs> so uh, a little while ago, my husband came and uh, you know, we always cuddle in the morning before we get up and face the day. And so he's cuddling me and, and it'd been like several minutes and I hadn't farted because we always fart together in the morning. And he was like, baby, are you okay? Are you broken? Uh, they are funny. How do you know you're fully comfortable? This is, this is how you know, right? Yeah. I just ordered your book. I asked you about the relationship anxiety the other day. Need it. Oh, I'm so here for you, lovely. So here for the goodness. Yeah. We are here for it. Uh, so guys, just so you know, stay tuned. I'm about like in August, by the way, in August, I'm launching, um, as long as everything works out. Okay. I'm launching a, um, lifestyle channel. We're going to, um, do two workouts a week. There's going to be one recipe a week. Um, I'm going to watch some TV with you guys. I'm going to, I'm going to watch it live. So you'll, you'll have to 
you know, watch it at the same time I'm watching it. Um, I can't show the video and the audio when I watch the, the shows, but I'm going to be watching stuff like The Bachelor and 90 Day Fiance um, and then giving my commentary while I watch it. I'm going to do a weekly spiritual session. Um, you'll get, like, it's going to be a subscription. You'll have member-only stuff. Um, and uh, there'll be, like, some surprises in there. Uh, and you'll have, like, special pricing for workshops as well. Ooh, lifestyle channel, that sounds cool, yes. I like 90 Day Fiance. Oh, he feels trapped and he feels like he's forcing it. It means exactly what he's saying. Don't, when men talk to you, there's no need to try and discern what they're saying. You can literally grab a dictionary if you don't understand the words coming out of their mouths and look up the words in the dictionary. He says he feels trapped and like he's forcing it. It means exactly what he's saying. So if you felt trapped and like you were forcing it, what would you want to do? Can you shrink your amygdala while listening to meditation music as you sleep? It's 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 kind of like can you like when you're driving, um, you know, can you can you zone out while driving and still get to your destination? Yes, because you're still awake and alert. Uh, if you fall asleep behind the wheel, are you still getting to your destination? Sweetie, you say I don't know. Yes, you do. You're just not listening. You're literally not listening to what he's saying, my love. Channel sounds great and you look amazing. Thank you. I'd love to know your opinion on Big Ed and Liz from 90, 90 Day Single Life. Oh, I haven't watched that one. Uh, I do watch Married at First Sight. I'm behind on TV watching, I'll be honest, you guys. I'm way behind on TV watching. But when I start this, uh, like, I, I'm, I, so one thing that I just did is I just ordered headphones because when I watch TV, if like, this is copyrighted material. So I can't show you the video and I can't let you hear the sound through my device if I'm going to react to something that's playing on TV. Um, even even if I were to um, play it after, right? Like I could go on Amazon Prime, I can go on Twitch, I can watch anything on Amazon Prime, we can all watch it together, but um, I can't let you hear the audio that I'm hearing. You still have to watch it on your end. You listen to the audio that they feed you. So I'm like, fuck that. I'm just gonna go live on TikTok and watch the TV shows and let you guys watch it with me. Um, but I did get myself some headphones so that I can block out the sound from the TV and just hear it through the headphones and then you guys can watch with me. So when the headphones come, I'm actually gonna start doing that so that we kind of, I, I get used to it. I wanna work out the bugs before I shift it over to the subscription channel. But um, once I start doing that, it is something that's going to be switched over to the subscription channel. Uh, do you want to see? Listening is easier if you're not asked to see it too. I I don't understand. Live. Uh. What book is best for marriage that's falling apart after a baby? Uh, fix that shit and coaching, my love. Do come get coaching. Um, so definitely fix that shit and start doing what's in the book the day you get it. Start doing what is in that book. Move down with my now husband to... If you guys are fighting, Fix That Shit is the book that is going to help you eliminate fights in your relationship if you are with a generous long-term thinker who loves you. And what's your take on Mama's Boys? Uh, don't get in a relationship with somebody who lets someone else dictate what they should and should not do. Don't get into a relationship with somebody who lets other people respect you 
regardless or disrespect you regardless of who they are. Don't get in a relationship with somebody who doesn't know how to look after themselves. Don't get into a relationship with somebody who hasn't learned how to adult yet. Just ran to my books app on my phone and bought it. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you, my love. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Um, yes, yes. I, I, I take family seriously. I really do. Um, ideally, I want parents to stay together because, you know, a child is happiest when their parents are loving each other and functional and parenting together and raising their child together. So... Um, I really do hope this works out for you, lovely. Um, if you, you know, again, if you really need some help, do come and get coaching. What do you think about indecisive men? Give them the space to go decide, but I'm not going to stay single while you're figuring it out. Do you have a book for trauma bonds, leaving a narcissist? If you're, if you need a book for getting over a breakup, then come back queen is the book for you. If you need some motivation to leave somebody, get no more assholes and look at the 12 character traits. Is it okay to move really fast in a relationship? Downside? Well, what you're saying is, is it okay to get into a relationship with a stranger? It's, it's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what's wrong for you. But if you're going to start a relationship with a stranger, you are counting on either luck or intuition to help you, right? because you don't know who this person is, you don't know if they're trustworthy, you, you don't know, right? You don't know what you don't know, and you haven't taken the time to find out, so you don't know. And now that you're introducing all the chemicals that happen with the kissing and the sex, then you're really not gonna know, because um, you're, gonna, you're not gonna see the red flags, because it's kinda like, you know, you've, you've, you're on meth, you know what I mean? You're on meth, uh, you're on heroin, like you, you're just, you're out of it, pretty much. So it's gonna take a few months for you to come down from that chemical high and then start seeing the red flags. And then you're gonna be like, oh, but I love him, so I'm gonna try harder. And then you just stay in the wrong relationship for too long. So that's the downside to getting into a relationship with a stranger and hoping for the best. I'm gonna start a coaching session soon. Lovelies. Okay, my love. So uh, I'm going to start a coaching session really soon. Um, so I'm going to give you one more chance to set yourself up to get a notification when I go live. Uh, so a coaching session is one hour long. If you want to book yourself in for a session, go to my bio, click on the link tree, hit the coaching button. It takes you to a page. Make sure you take a good look at that. Um, and then if you decide a coaching session is for you, then follow the three steps to book yourself in. So those of you who want a notification when I go live, um, I might go on again later tonight. So click my picture up here. Once or twice, you're gonna get a pop-up and the pop-up is a bell right about here. Click on the bell. When you do that, say, I just did. We just did the draw for the coaching giveaway on Instagram. But um, if you guys uh, wanna take part in the next draw, I do a draw every month for a free coaching session, a one hour coaching session. So go follow me on Instagram and go take part in that. Do check out the link to my bio, you guys. There's lots of free stuff in there. Also, if you want to grab a book, you can get it on Amazon or anywhere you tend to buy books online. If you want an audio book, Fix That Shit is an audio book and you can get it uh, through the link to my bio. So my Instagram is Canada's Dating Coach or you can just hit that little Instagram button in my bio when you, when you like you know hop on over to my bio you're going to see that little instagram icon you can click that it'll show you my instagram link and my youtube link so just choose where you want to go 
do check out my youtube channel you guys i have a let's meditate playlist track number two every day with headphones is going to be amazing for you so if you guys want to start feeling calmer then make sure you hit up my youtube channel and that let's meditate playlist and you can watch some of my like i don't take all of them because sometimes the video gets too glitchy so i don't want to post it on youtube um but uh you can watch a lot of my lives on rerun on my live stream playlist in my youtube channel i love you guys Thank you.